Modal verbs are a category of auxiliary verbs in English that are used to express various shades of meaning, such as possibility, necessity, permission, ability, and more. Here is a list of modal verbs in the English language. Can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, would. Let's go into more detail with each modal verb on how to use them and example sentences. Expressing ability. When used to express ability, can indicates that someone has the skill, capacity or capability to do something. She can speak five different languages fluently. Expressing possibility. Can can also be used to suggest that something is possible or likely to happen. With hard work and dedication, you can achieve your goals. Expressing permission. Can can also be used to seek or grant permission. Can I borrow your car for the weekend? Expressing requests or offers. Can can be used to make polite requests or offers. Can I get you a cup of tea? Expressing past ability. When used to express past ability, could indicates that someone had the skill or capacity to do something in the past. He could play the piano beautifully before his accident. Expressing past permission. Could can also be used to indicate past permission or the ability to do something in the past. When we were kids, we could stay up late on weekends. Making polite requests. Could is commonly used to make polite requests or seek permission in a courteous manner. Could you please pass me the salt? Indicating possibility. Could can also be used to suggest that something is possible but not certain. It could rain later, so you might want to take an umbrella. Expressing politeness and softening statements. Could is used to soften statements and make them more polite or less direct. I could be mistaken, but I think the event is tomorrow. Expressing permission. May is often used to seek or grant permission. May we enter the museum now, or is it closed? Expressing possibility. May can also be used to suggest a possibility or likelihood of something happening. It may not be the best idea to go hiking in this weather. Making polite requests. May is used to make polite and formal requests. May I propose a solution to this ongoing issue? Expressing probability or uncertainty. May can be used to express doubt or uncertainty when making statements. It may not be as difficult as it seems. Let's give it a try. Expressing possibility or uncertainty. Might is often used to suggest a possibility 
or a level of uncertainty about an action or event. I might consider joining the club if I have enough free time. Polite requests or suggestions. Might can be used to make polite requests or suggestions. Might I borrow your pen for a moment? Expressing past possibility. Might can be used to express past possibility or hypothetical situations in reported speech or conditional sentences. She thought she might have left her keys at home. Expressing politeness and softening statements. Might is used to soften statements and make them more polite or less direct. I might be mistaken, but I think the meeting is at three o'clock. Expressing necessity or obligation. Must is commonly used to indicate that something is necessary or required. You must complete the assignment by tomorrow. Making strong recommendations. Must can also be used to give strong recommendations or advice. She must try the chocolate cake. It's delicious. Expressing certainty. Must can be used to express a high degree of certainty or deduction about a situation. The keys are in the car. I must have left them there. Prohibition. Negative form, must not or mustn't. The negative form of must is used to express prohibition or to forbid an action. Employees must not disclose confidential information. Expressing logical deduction. Must can also be used to make logical deductions based on available evidence. She must be tired. She worked late last night. Expressing future action with first person I and we. Shall is used with I and we to indicate future actions or intentions. I shall visit you tomorrow. We shall discuss this matter further. Making suggestions or offers. Shall can be used to make suggestions or offers in a polite and formal manner. Shall we go for a walk after dinner? Formal or legal obligations. Shall can be used in legal or contractual language to express obligations or requirements. Parties to the contract shall comply with all terms and conditions. Questions in British English. In British English, shall can be used in questions to make polite inquiries or suggestions. Shall I book a table for two? Expressing advice or recommendations. Should is commonly used to offer advice or make recommendations. If you want to pass the exam, you should study harder. Expressing expectation or probability. Should can be used to express expectation or probability regarding a future event. They said the package should arrive by tomorrow. Expressing obligation or duty less strongly than must. Should 
can be used to express a sense of duty or obligation, but it is generally less strong than must. Employees should arrive on time for the meeting. Conditional statements. If. Should. Should can be used in conditional sentences to express possible outcomes. If it rains, you should take an umbrella. Expressing future actions and intentions. Will is most commonly used to indicate future actions or intentions. She will start her new job next week. Making predictions. Will can be used to make predictions about future events. I think it will rain later this afternoon. Expressing future facts. Will is used to state future facts that are certain to happen. The sun will rise in the east tomorrow morning. Making promises or offers. Will can be used to make promises or offers. I will always be there for you. Expressing requests and invitations. Will can be used to make polite requests or invitations. Will you come to my party on Friday? Expressing polite requests or offers. Would is often used to make polite requests or offers. I would be happy to help you. Talking about hypothetical or unreal situations. Would is commonly used to discuss hypothetical or unreal situations, often in conditional sentences. If I had more time, I would travel the world. Expressing habits in the past. Would can be used to describe past habits or repetitive actions. When I was a child, I would play in the park every day. Making polite requests in reported speech. Would is used to make reported speech more polite and indirect. She asked if I would pass her the book. Expressing willingness or preference. Would can express a willingness or preference for a particular action. I would rather stay home tonight. Mm -hmm.